Hello YouTubers and do-it-yourselfers. This is my latest invention of how I converted a DeWalt lithium-ion 20 volt into my old 18 volt. I bought this set at Home Depot or something a couple of years ago and it worked great. I used the hell out of it. But recently I got one of these DeWalt's which are even better and it comes with the new lithium technology batteries which are fantastic but I still had use for my old uh, circular saw and my light and a sawzall so I just had all these extra batteries so what I did was I um, I went on YouTube but I couldn't figure out exactly what the conversion was I didn't want to put all new batteries in here so this is my take on the things so what I did was I measured the voltage of here and I got 18 volts. This is obviously a 20 volt pack. So what I did was I carefully took the battery, the batteries out of this unit and I rigged up a system to insert this cartridge into the DeWalt. I carefully routed it out and as you can see it was empty before and now their energy is flowing through this battery into this passive system and it, it's using the native holders. So I could use my old equipment with the new battery. Again I looked at some other videos but they didn't show me how to do it exactly this way so I sort of went in my own direction and I'll quickly show you how I did it even though this is a rough guide more than a step-by-step -step. let me just take it apart So as you can see, I took out all the battery unit and the cells here and I threw them away. And basically, I just rigged up a system where I have two contacts that correspond to the 20 volt contacts in the DeWalt. And it's just soldered to a wire that is hooked up to the existing connections. You know, so I just sort of soldered it up, used heavy gauge wire, and I put it back together and I just used wood as a um, insulator to keep the contacts away and keep it separated. And as I said, it's just a good guide on how it can be done, you know. The hardest work was just the routing it out. And I used a couple of boxes or cardboard boxes to make sure that the connections were good. And as you can see, it just is catching in here and it stays in there, locks in place, and it's sort of eyeball measure out. So it's not necessarily an electrical thing, but it's more being crafty with a Dremel than anything else. Well, good luck, I hope it works for you. And um, the other warning people on the internet gave is don't overuse these things or use them to, to die. The protection is supposedly in the tool, not in the battery. So good luck, everybody. Hope this helps.